we're helping customers focus on that next thing, focus on building beyond and not be so stuck in, I just need to get through this. And a lot of it has to do with time to market. And if you are working and working and working, it can take a long time. But if you can, instead of doing everything in serial, do things in parallel, you can get to market faster. Well, then you can sell things earlier, then you can make more money and then you can do more. And so I, I feel like we help supercharge the potential of those customers by our tools being just so amazing. Welcome to the Future of Electronics Designed with Cadence podcast, where we explore cutting edge technology and innovation all across the industry and around the world, things that are happening at Cadence. And every episode, we, we talk to experts from across the organization at Cadence, from everything from the latest semiconductor technology designs to how we're making an impact to the future of technology. Today, I am just excited to welcome Carter Nicewaner, who is the general counsel at Cadence and has so much to share with us today. Welcome, Karna. I'm glad to be here with you, Jeff. I'm so excited for our conversation today. And, and, and I agree. It is exciting. And your team does a great job whenever I speak with them. They're always excited and willing to help. And it's not just, oh, my goodness, the lawyers are here. You actually serve an incredible purpose. And as a matter of fact, there's so much going on uh, in the semiconductor industry. Cadence is part of it. Can you tell us about what are the general things? Tell us about what Cadence does and how we're making an impact in the world and maybe in a way things that we can explain to our children about what we do here. Well, for me, what's so exciting about Cadence is we create the tools that allow our customers to build the future. Uh, our tools are used, some of them in the EDA space, to design semiconductor chips. And just about everything that we use today involves a semiconductor chip. And that's what's really exciting. And that's kind of the start of you know, all technical products in the world. We also have tools that help look at that whole system. So not just at the semiconductor chip, but the entire system. And so when I talk to people about what Cadence does, I talk about how we create tools that allow every company to build their future. Wow, that's just pretty powerful. And, and future, I, I know everybody's talking about AI and machine learning and and. Let's say, let's say one of your kids come to you and say, mom, what do you actually do at the office? And what does Cadence make? What products would you point out? Maybe something that they would use in their lives every day that we impact. You know, they're, they're smart devices, the car I drive, the refrigerator that seems to have chips in it now. Pretty right. much any <laughs> device you're using, that's something that was designed using tools created by Cadence. Now, What's so exciting about it and what's so exciting for me to be part of a company like Cadence is we're not just doing, uh, we're not just helping customers who are designing sort of those everyday products, but we're helping customers who are hitting the cutting edge, who are designing things at two nanometers or smaller, which is super, super small. And when I think about it, you know, when chip design originally started, you could draw the lines and now you need a computer to make, make what's possible. And part of what's exciting for me at Cadence is talking with all the different engineers here and hearing about what they're working on and how they're trying to overcome all of the different challenges created by having those really intricate, really small designs. And that's part of the exciting part of my job is that I get to talk with people. I get to hear about what they're working on. I get to hear about what their challenges are. And then my team gets to help them either protect it or go after people who are pirating it or just work with um, the company to make sure that we're able to continue to grow, continue to create that great innovation and continue to be able to make those leaps and bounds in, in, in technical development. It's funny. It's so great you set that up. And, and I think about how you protect the IP. I think we all get five emails a day that are phishing or spam or anything. Is, is there a way that we could use this technology to eliminate all that forever, to, to never get a robocall again one more time? Is it, are we work, can we work on something like that? Can we get our kids involved in that type of stuff? Well, I would say that 
we can help the customers of ours who are building the smart networks, create even smarter networks. But we're not writing the software that's going to solve that problem. And I do admit it is a big problem. And I'm quite thankful we have an IT department that like filters out a lot of those, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, So there is like many layers to, to technology today. And I just think we're that foundational starting layer of that technology staff. Absolutely. And, and it particularly, I know uh, automated driving, self-driving cars, we have our hands in a lot of that. What's your take or what are the types of issues you see coming into play with the, all the different cars and the automotives and people's concern about the environment or worries or, you know, range or everything? Do, do you process any of that? Do you see any of that come across your desk? Well, so for me, autonomous vehicles are are near and dear to my heart because when I was in college, I helped design an autonomous vehicle for an unmanned ground robotics competition. And it was over 25 years ago. So it was pretty simple. And today I look at what's being developed and I'm like, oh, my goodness, <laughs> like we have real autonomous vehicles, not just a golf cart with an SGI box and a camera. Um, it's, it's a very different world of autonomous vehicles. But even back then, one of the things that I wrote in my thesis was, hey, one of the things we have to worry about is what happens if something goes wrong? What happens if the car crashes because of a software glitch? Who's responsible? Is it the software vendor? Is it the hardware vendor? Is it the user for not picking up that something was going wrong? I think those issues still exist today in terms of autonomous vehicles and what is the future and who's going to take responsibility? And I also think it's that last 5%. Like you can do a lot with technology. That last little bit is really hard. It's really hard to solve for the things that our brains just do naturally. And I don't know that technology is totally there at the brain level yet. Almost. It's getting closer. And, um, you know, I think that with machine learning and with all of these different tools out there, we can develop more and more, but we're not there yet. Um, but cadence will help these different developers create better chips, create chips that are optimized for the type of analysis necessary. And that's what's really so powerful is that you don't have to just use something off the shelf. You can design it yourself and you can make it so that it's optimized to do exactly what you needed to do over and over and over again. And, and that's a really powerful tool. No, and, and here's here's what's the interesting thing. You say, I'm I'm the corporate, I'm the general counsel at Cadence. And then all of a sudden, oh, in college, I built a robot. So, so wait a second. And you build a self-driving car. I don't get that conversation from a lot of lawyers. So when I talk with great people that, that, so, so you have an amazing background that you, you come, tell us, I mean, you come from an engineering background. Tell us about how you went from engineering to, to law. So you come in with a lot of credibility and, and, and you're, you're able to, to talk with the engineers and understand what they're doing and, and see other subtleties or maybe share some of that in your background. So I did study engineering at Princeton wow. and it was a great education. I learned a lot and I thought, I don't want to program. <laughs> and so I then went to Singapore and I taught computer programming at a polytechnic wow. What there. language? What language uh, did you teach? What language? I taught C programming, okay. all about linked lists. I did a lecture to 250 wow. on that. I finally understood how they really work. Um, and so I knew I loved technology. I mean, I love technology, the cutting edge, the new things that are being created and developed. That's so exciting. And it's so exciting to be part of companies and around people that are making things that are right. new. But I was like, I don't I don't know that I want to make it. And so that's what I said. Well, maybe teaching will be a good thing. And then I was like, no, this is not the best. And so then I decided, all right, I'll go to law school and then I'll be able to work for technical companies and I'll be able to like learn about all their cool stuff because I can work on their patents. And that's what I did. I then went to UCLA. I had a great time in law school, played a lot of beach volleyball. <laughs> and then and then I started working for a law firm and eventually I made my way to Cadence a little over a decade ago. And I just fell in love with this company. They, they just embraced me, created a wonderful environment for me to learn and grow. And I just love the things that we create. I love our engineers and all of the amazing development that they do. You know, when I started, I remember people talking about like, 
28. And, and now we're talking about two. And so it's amazing to me how far we're going and how much we're developing and designing and how much we're doing to really make it easier for our customers. They don't have to spend as much time. We've got smart systems that will make it easier for them, make it faster for them, allow them to do things that otherwise would take weeks and days. And to me, that's really part of the message of Cadence is we're here to help you customers create better things, faster, smarter, and with less people, really. Um, Or if you have more people, you can create more things. And to me, that's really powerful to be able to really help people in their jobs and in their ability to do things. And I just think there's not a lot of companies that have such a single-minded technical focus on being at the cutting, bleeding edge of technology so that other people can like follow on and do even more. But no, that there's so much, so much there. And I appreciate it. And again, you're coming in with the understanding, the technical appreciation and the ability to look at the legal facts. You said a couple of things there too, that I, that I, I enjoyed. You said, we want to help you, the customer to do more with less people. And all of a sudden people get scared. Oh my goodness. AI machine learning number is going to do away with, with my, my job and career. And the answer is no, it's going to do away with certain parts of it, but it's also going to open up other greater opportunities and more problems. So maybe you could address that to put people at ease that with all the, with all the, the great technology advancements, we're not losing people. We're actually using our abilities and our brains more intelligently, if you will. So I think about it in terms of my own career. And when I've been doing the same thing over and over again, kind of feel like my brain is atrophying. Like I'm not learning. I'm not doing something new. And I feel like there's going to be a part of every job, like eh, 40 to 80 percent, where you're just doing rote tasks. You're just continuing to process. And that's a job. And you have to do it. You have to get the work done. You have to kind of move forward. But when you can offload some of that repetitive road stuff to either someone else or to a machine and really focus on the creative, interesting work, that's really exciting. That's where your brain starts firing. That's where you get smarter. And that's where you create new stuff. It's not in the let me just, you know, hit this button over and over again. It's in the, let me figure out what I really want to do and make it happen. And so for me, we're helping customers focus on that next thing, focused on building beyond and not be so stuck in, I just need to get through this. And a lot of it has to do with time to market. And if you are working and working and working, it can take a long time. But if you can, instead of doing everything in serial, do things in parallel, you can get to market faster. Well, then you can sell things earlier. Then you can make more money and then you can do more. And so I I feel like we help supercharge the potential of those customers by our tools being just so amazing. Supercharge. I love that. And and You've also shared where you you came into Cadence with one focus and then you had so much opportunity open up to you. And what's great too is you are, are also a great example of of just a, a great technical and, and legal leader, if you will, but also women in leadership, women in technology. Talk about maybe some of the opportunities that you've seen that Cadence has always made available to you and to to people of such great diversity here and how we, we have such a great diverse and strong workforce. So for me, the best experience I had was after I'd been here about a year and a half, I had my second child and I returned from maternity leave and then I got promoted to lead the group. So for me, that was just so empowering. It's like, no, we care about you, Karna, as a person and the value you bring to us. And we are going to invest in you And you have to do this leave and have this kid. Great. We want you to enjoy that. You know, one senior VP said to me, take the time you need. The job is always going to be here. We'll always be here for you. And Cadence really always was there for me. And that investment in me as an individual and the different opportunities for training, for development, the mentoring opportunities, my opportunity now to mentor people, I feel like that engagement in building somebody's career, not just building our career. Um, as a professional technical leader, but also as a individual and leader in just general leadership skills, 
is really important. I loved this mini MBA course we did where we all got together. I got to meet people from around the company, um, from all the different groups. And we got to learn about Cadence as a company, the technology, just be how to be smarter in the business that we do. And I feel like all of those different exposure points really helped me to understand Cadence better um, and then also understand what and how I could contribute to Cadence better. One of the really great things I got to be was uh, something we call a legal business partner. And so I got to sit on the different R&D staffs and I got to hear what they were talking about. I got to hear what they were excited about developing. And that was really fun because now years later, I see, oh, we did it. Like we made those things happen. The stuff that you had as concepts as we need to get into this, you know, five years later, we're a leader in. And to me, that focus on building and developing and growing people and technology is, is, is a great foundation for a company and makes me really excited to be here, to be part of this company. Absolutely. And, and the loyalty and the support you got, like you said, when you had your, your sec, was it your section? Is that, is a picture, is that a picture of them behind you on the wall? Yeah, no, there's lots of them. <laughs> my kids. <laughs> and, my and office is just filled with kids' pictures. Same with me. All my children I've had, well, we're here at Cadence and, and it's how supportive it's been and, and uh, which is so important. And now do you, do your kids, they assume that going to work, I had my, my son, you say to me, dad, all you do is, is just send emails all day. Right. So hey, we're inspiring our children to next generation. Do your kids ask you, Hey, you know, what are you doing at work today, mom? What, what are you doing? Do they, do they ask you that question? And do you, you look at them and you say, what's well, a long answer or you have something well, I think, unfortunately, the pandemic showed my kids what That's I do right. every day, <laughs> which is us. sit in front of a computer and talk on the phone and have right. Zoom. They could do that. They do that all day long. Uh, they can't. They hated yes, it. That's <laughs> right. So um, so they, they know I have a lot of meetings and I talk with a lot of people and I review a lot of stuff. Um, it's really hard to make what you're doing exciting to a 10-year-old. <laughs> it's just... It's not, but I do like to talk about, like you asked earlier, what is the technology uh, that your company creates doing for us? And so I like to focus on, hey, my company does all these great things. Because of my company, you have your phone, you have your computer, you know. And so I like to focus on what we as a company create because I myself am not actually creating that much besides maybe a PowerPoint presentation or Excel spreadsheet. Like, uh -huh. so I like to focus on what we create as a company, like the Royal we as cadence, because I feel like that is what we are. We are one team, one cadence, and I'm a part of that. And so I can like use that to explain to my kids, my company's doing all this great stuff. You may just see me on the phone, but like I'm helping make it possible. That's right. And they're like, oh, and then then they just see them telling their friends, my mom made that Xbox. Well, no, well, not quite, but <laughs> just say, yeah, take take the credit. I made right? it possible. I made it possible. You made, you made it possible. That's right. right. And, and you know, it's funny. Then they talk to their parents and there's a lot of people that that look in the industry and they say, well, there's several different companies that 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 support technology and growth. What, what do you think here at Cadence makes... First of all, you stand out from your peers in the industry and people that are looking to say, I want to join a great company. What are the a couple of factors that, that get you excited about coming to work here every day? In addition, or perhaps on top of what you've already shared, as to people saying, why would it be cool for me to, to, to jump into a company like Cadence now and be part of that, that future growth right now? So for me, the best part of Cadence is just the people. I feel like we have the best people here. They're really smart, like really smart. And they're really dedicated and hardworking. And for me, being in an environment of smart, dedicated, hardworking people kind of reminds me of college, <laughs> you know, when we, which we were all really interested in learning. We were all really interested in doing things. We all worked really hard for the future. And I feel like I get a little bit of that spirit here. And then people are just really nice and really care. I love our, our season of caring where we you know, go out and do things like Second Harvest Food Bank. I just took my team there a few weeks ago and we did a volunteer effort. I love the team in tech that Cadence does where we go to other countries and we help um, 
people, women or others really learn about technology. I love that Cadence doesn't just think about Cadence, but Cadence thinks about the world around us and how can we help in our communities. And like each of the sites does something in their community. They adopt in Munich the Kinderdorf where they're like, okay, this is a, you know, community of orphans that we're going to help. And you know, here, my team in legal, we adopted four families over the holidays from the Bill Wilson Center. And those are all kids in foster care. And so we understand really how lucky we are to be professionals and to be working for such a great company. And then we have a week of volunteer time that we can take to really volunteer in our community and give back in a way that's meaningful for us, not just, hey, you know, you need to do this or you need to do that. And I just really feel like those opportunities to connect with your community, those opportunities to reach out to others are so important and they're so valuable because they really, they make you feel like you're part of something more. And I appreciate that Cadence has really invested in that greater community. Last year, we launched the Cadence Foundation, which is a foundation that will be devoted to that. But more than that, as a company, I feel like We want to be on the cutting edge of everything, not just technology, but things like the environment. We look at how our products are really helping our customers create low power solutions, create more energy efficient structures. And that's where we can do something that goes beyond just our technology, but really helps the world be a better world. And it's really great to feel like I'm part of a company of smart people doing amazing things, working hard, making the world a better place. And they take care of me. You know, I feel really well cared for. And that's just a great environment to be in. I think we just captured what should be our, I don't even want to say recruiting tool, but show this video to anybody. Carney, you encompass so much. You bring together, you you, have such a great background technically and you, you, took a focus to go into legal and to add to your skill set. And you talk about the human factors and not just the technology here at Cadence, but the people and the global factors, which I think is so exciting. I, I want to work there. Wait, I already do. So it's a, this, this is exciting. Now, now, so I want to talk about just quickly how you actually got started. We talked about, you know, some of your first jobs, but how did you first get into Cadence? I want to cover that. And then, then a few more items before we wrap up today. I started at Cadence as a, uh, I I was at a company where I was like, I don't think this is the right place for me. I don't see any like advancement opportunity. Someday I want to manage. Someday mm. I want more. And and honestly, when I started at Cadence, my thought in my head was, well, I know it just is not going to be any worse. It's just <laughs> there's sometimes potential. It, sometimes it takes. Yeah, right? you just right. like I think it'll be good enough. I think what they're doing is cool. And where some people are like. I can't really connect with the products. Like I had one coworker who went to um, Netflix and was like, I can connect with the products. And I'm like, everyone can connect with movies. Hello. Yeah. I feel like I connect with our products. I love that we're creating things that are really innovative, not just, you know, a website, but like real technology that makes a real difference. And I think that's the connection for me. And so when I started, I was like, okay, I mean, I wanted to be in the Bay Area. I grew up here. This is my home and my extended family is here. Uh, So, you know, I had to stay in the Bay Area and I wanted a company that was doing good stuff. And Cadence does. So so you started in the Bay Area and then you went to school in New Jersey. uh, How was that experience? You you shared a little bit about. Yeah. So I would say that growing up in the Bay Area, you uh, (laughs) you choose weather, you you choose seasons, you don't let them choose you. That's right. And winter, winter was rough. I know. I know. (laughs) Yes. I I was not a fan of the great gray brown season. Yes. Um, but I had a. I had a lot of fun in some of the activities I did. I played volleyball. I rode crew. I loved the friends that I made that I'm still friends with today. Absolutely. One of my college friends was the fishing at my wedding. I feel like um, it was a great place for me to grow into being myself. And, and, you know, when you're young, you don't really know what you want. You just know you want something different. And I knew I wanted to be far away from my mom. And Princeton was the school I got into <laughs> that was furthest away from my mom. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, is it amazing how you grow when you're away from your parents? And you, you, So the Singapore was Singapore. Your Singapore was right after college? Yeah. Immediately following college, I uh, 
two weeks later, got on a plane, flew to Singapore. It was my first international flight ever. I mean, I'd been to Canada and Mexico, but it was my first real use of my passport. And then I, you know, was an international fellow at the Polytechnic and I got to travel throughout Southeast Asia. And I really loved um, being in that region, being able to see um, so many different things that I just wasn't exposed to. I mean, I did grow up in California, so I was exposed to some of the food at least. But um, but beyond that, it was just so wonderful to to be in a different place. And, you know, also fundamentally realize how lucky I am that I grew up in the United States and I had so many opportunities, particularly as a woman, um, and that my parents really set me up to be successful by you know, encouraging me to go to college. I mean, it was expected you're going to go to college. It was expected that you were going to be successful. And they enabled it and they supported it. And not everybody has that. And so I really love the programs we have at Cadence that are scholarships for underrepresented minorities and women. And really, how can we help people be successful? How can we help people get that half step they need in order to move forward? Because not everyone has the support that I got. I'm I'm very lucky. But you but the key is you recognize it, you don't take it for granted, and you also see the the gift it could be to others. And it's almost like the concept of a hand up, not a hand out. If I could show you what you could do, you could be better and greater than or well, the greatness that's already within you could actually come out. And it sounds certainly Cadence has been a place for you to do that. Yeah, I feel like Cadence has really helped me become the professional that I am today, they've helped give me all of these opportunities to learn and grow that I don't know that I would have gotten anywhere else. I mean, this was really a perfect match for me. My love of technology, Cadence being so technology focused, like not every company is like that. Not every company really believes and loves in technology in the same way that Cadence does. And so it inspires me and it gets me excited because I think, this is Cadence. Look at the cool things we're doing. I don't think everybody feels that way. Um, and I really appreciate that my sort of dorky, nerdy self can be here and just be normal where, you know, the head of our SVG group, our verification group, and I talk about the physics show at Foothill College and how cool it is and how we take our kids to it. Right. And and that's cool. And I can say, oh, hey, you know, I just turned 30 in hexadecimal and people actually know what hexadecimal is and, you know, stuff like that, where in the general legal profession, all those things I just said, nobody would care about. But, you know, but in the place like Cadence, people are totally like, oh, well, that would be like 60 in Octa. Like, you know, and it's like so like that's that's what's really nice is having a place where you can just be you. And you can make a difference and you can feel like you're really part of something more. That's phenomenal. And I, as a, as a fellow nerd, I've always felt comfortable to, to laugh and speak business terms with customers or, or coworkers or also talk hexadecimal and, and just not be looked at like, or, 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 you know, pull out a calculator. This works in reverse Polish notation. They don't get offended because that's what it's actually called on my HB calculator. The, so I want to ask you, if you were to, Last thing you want to share, your vision for this year, the, the one major impact you want to make at Cadence in the community, what's, the, what's maybe the top of your list this year, the, the thing you want to focus on saying, here's an area we want to make even better. Does anything come to mind for you? Honestly, for me, when I think about this year, as we've come out of the pandemic and as we're now back in person and together, my real focus is broadening and deepening relationships for me and my team and really coming together more. We just had a celebration on site yesterday and it was super fun seeing everybody in the office together. And I really think that the best things come when you're in a trusted environment where people know each other and they like being around each other. So building those relationships for me is gonna help all of us create better solutions for our customers. Carter, I also know we've been discussing a lot of stuff about sustainability and, and, and green in the environment. And I know Cadence is doing a lot in that space as well. Can you share some thoughts on that? Well, this is something I'm really excited about. And I know that it's something that our customers are excited about, our employees are excited about, even our investors are excited about it. And, and it's the fact that we as a company create software that helps our customers have low power solutions. I mentioned that earlier. But you know what it also does is 
we can do things like create a digital twin of a server farm and allow the company to figure out how to best improve the like flow of everything in there to reduce the power consumption. And it's not just a solution that we sell to customers. It's something we use ourselves. And it's going to allow us to raise the temperature in our server farms like by a degree or two, which is a huge amount of energy savings. And so the nice thing about what our products do and what our solutions are doing is they're allowing us to help our customers be more green and therefore help the world have less energy consumption. And that's pretty exciting that we're helping the world be a little greener. That That's fantastic. And everyone, again, Karna, we want to just thank you today. We want to thank you all for joining us here at the Future of Electronics Designed by Cadence. And you really gave us a wonderful picture of not just the technology, but also the global impacts that, that Cadence is having on technology, people, improving quality of lives. And we invite everybody to keep tuning in to learn how Cadence is making a difference in the world for technology and to be on the cutting edge and to move forward and make the world a better place to live. Thank you all. Have a great day. Have a great day.